the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. My dear friends in Christ, we come together this day giving praise and thanks to Almighty God, and today we commemorate the memory of blessed Charles Luanga and his companions, martyrs for their faith. Friends, as we prepare to meet Christ Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, we first take a moment of pause. Let us acknowledge our shortcomings, those times when we miss the mark, so that we can better prepare a home for Christ in each of our hearts. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, always interceding for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring all of us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who have made the blood of martyrs the seed of Christians, Mercifully grant that the field which is your church, watered by the blood shed by St. Charles Luanga and his companions, may be fertile and always yield an abundant harvest. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second book of Maccabees. It happened that seven brothers were with their mother, and they were arrested and tortured with whips and scourges by the king to force them to eat pork in violation of God's law. One of the brothers, speaking to the others, said, What do you expect to achieve by questioning us? We are ready to die rather than transgress the laws of our ancestors. At the point of death, he said, You accursed fiend, you are depriving us of this present life, but the king of the world will raise us up to live again forever. It is for his laws that we are dying. After him, the third suffered their cruel sport. He put out his tongue at once when told to do so, and bravely held out his hand, and he spoke these noble words. It was from heaven that I received these. For the sake of God's laws, I disdain them. From him I hope to receive them again. Even the king and his attendants marveled at the young man's courage because he regarded his sufferings as nothing. After he had died, they tortured and maltreated the fourth brother in the same way. When he was near death, he said, It is my choice to die at the hands of men, with the God-given hope of being restored to life by him. But for you, there will be no resurrection to life. The word of the Lord. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Had not the Lord been with us when these men rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their fury was inflamed against us. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Then would the waters have overwhelmed us. The torrent would have swept over us. Over us then would have swept the raging waters. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Broken was the snare, and we were freed. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. And after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Charles Lawanga and his companions. They were Ugandan martyrs who stood up to the king rather than compromise their own moral integrity, rather than renounce their faith. They held firm to their faith and ultimately they paid the price of their lives. These readings today were chosen specifically by the church for their feast day. And these readings in so many ways echo their life and echo the lives of so many of those people who have given the ultimate sacrifice for their faith. Friends, each and every one of us has been called by our baptism to be men and women of faith, to be witnesses of Christ's love, Christ's mercy, and compassion, no matter the cost. Friends, how can we stand up for our faith? How can we stand up for the Beatitudes that we read about in this gospel today? How can we live those out right now? Our world is yearning. Our, wor our world is crying out in pain. How will we be the merciful? How will we be those who comfort? How will we be the peacemakers? It's a choice we have to face if we're going to take the call to discipleship seriously. So trusting that our loving and merciful God hears all of our prayers, we present our needs and the needs of a St. Paul family before God's holy altar. For Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, for all who lead and guide the people of God, that there'll be examples of faith leading all into a deeper relationship with Christ. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all who lead and hold power in government, society, throughout our world, that they'll hold to the common good, seeing in each and every person they've been called to serve the image and likeness of God. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For justice in our world, that we see God in each and every face we encounter. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. And for an end to all violence in our streets, that all may be drawn closer to Christ and live in that peaceable kingdom that we're all called to build. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick and suffering, that they know of God's healing presence today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of our beloved dead, especially those who we now recall in the silence of our hearts. May they see the face of our loving God this day and live forever with all the saints in life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving and merciful God, you give us great examples through our faith. Help us to see in St. Charles and his friends the sacrifice you call each and every one of us to make each and every day. The sacrifice of putting aside our own wants, our own needs, for the greater good, realizing that each and every one of us has been called by you to serve each other. We ask these and all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so blessed are you, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Through the mystery of this water and wine, they come and share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And so with humble spirit and contrite heart, may it be accepted by you, O Lord, may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sins.
and pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you sacrifice, O Lord, humbly praying that as you grant the blessed martyrs grace to die rather than to sin, so you may bring us to minister at your altar in dedication to you alone, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. For the very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give them ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration. And we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, with all the clergy, with the entire people you've gained for your own. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Paul, Charles Luanga, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And so, friends, at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant us peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of our Lord be with you always. And on behalf of all of us who call St. Paul's our home, may peace be with you and your household, today and always. May the mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to all of those who receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. 
And so may the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold Jesus, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the suffer of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ keep all of us safe for eternal life. pray. We have received the divine sacrament, O Lord, as we celebrate the victory of your holy martyrs. May we, may what helped them to endure torment, we pray, make us, in the face of trials, steadfast in faith and in charity, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you now and always, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.